So, a person is capable of swimming with a velocity of 0.7 meters per second in still water. Suppose that the river the person is swimming in has a current of 0.5 meters per second due west. We want to find part A and part B. So in part A, if the river is 100 meters wide, how far downstream will the person end up if they try to swim directly across the river? So let's suppose we have our 100 meter wide river shown here. Our person begins on one side of the river and wants to end up at this side of the river. So they attempt to swim directly across. What actually ends up happening is because the river has a current of 0.5 meters per second due west, our person actually ends up some distance x from where they want to end up. So we want to find what this distance x is. So to begin, let's draw our velocity diagram. So we want to figure out what the relative velocity of the swimmer is. So notice that the person is trying to swim directly upward. So that means we have our velocity of the person pointing upward along our y-axis. And likewise, the river has a current of 0.5 meters per second shown here pointing along the x-axis in the negative direction. So we want to find what the magnitude of our relative velocity of the swimmer is. So we want to find what the magnitude of this side is shown in red. So to find the magnitude of our relative velocity of the swimmer, we simply use our Pythagorean theorem. So 0.5 meters per second squared, the velocity of this uh, vector, plus 0.7 meters per second squared, we add up our squares and we take the radical and we get approximately 0.86 meters per second. So this is our relative velocity of our person. Now, what we actually want to find is this distance x. So to find this distance x, we have to set up similar triangles. So let's suppose we have our triangle shown here. So we have 0 0.5, 0 0.7, and 0.86 are our velocities. So we can draw a similar triangle for the lengths. So here's our 100 meter wide river. We want to find what this x is. What is our actual displacement between this point and this point? What is the difference between where the person actually wants to end up and where they will end up because of the fact that we have a current of 0.5 meters per second due west? So we simply set up a proportion. So let's say we want to uh, set up a proportion between this side and this side. So 0.5 divided by 0.7 is equal to the same side divided by the same side here. So 0.5 divided by 0.7 is equal to x divided by 100. So I find what this value is and multiply both sides by 100 and I get x to be approximately 71.4 meters. So that means my person will end up 71.4 meters from the position where they actually want to end up downstream. So in part B, we want to ask the following question. How long will it take to reach the other side? So in order to find this, we have to use the fact that our relative velocity of the person is 0.86 meters per second and we have to find what the actual distance that our person travels. So we want to find this y. So we know what x is, we know what our height of the triangle is because it's a 90 degree triangle, we can use our Pythagorean theorem. So y squared is equal to x squared plus 100 squared, so we take the radical of both sides and we get the following. y is equal to uh, 71.4 squared plus 100 squared, take the radical of the sum of the squares and we get 
123 meters. So, our person actually travels approximately 123 meters along the river to get from point initial to point final. So, this distance is equivalent to 123 meters. Now, what about the time? Well, recall that time is equal to the distance divided by our speed or velocity, the magnitude of velocity. So that means since we know the distance and we know the relative speed, we get 123 meters divided by 0.86 meters per second and we get approximately 143 seconds. So our person spends this many seconds in the river, crossing it from point initial to point final.